Hi, I'm Pete. Welcome to another epic journey. As Tim and I were camping and fishing up the coast of Texas, we made about six stops you'll see in this video, and uh, we really didn't have a good time. We're not sad to be leaving Texas, that's for sure. So check it out, you'll find out why. The first stop in this series was Isla Blanca County Campground. It was a nice little park and it was about a half mile walk to the fishing jetty. What a great sight. We have arrived. Isla Blanca. Isla Blanca. Port Isabel. South Padre Island. Beautiful. All right. I'm Pete. I'm Tim. That worked out good, didn't it? <laughs> I really mixed them up. We were at uh, Port Isabel. Uh, South Padre Island uh, at the jetty. We're gonna try a little fishing. It's Tuesday and we're gonna turn it into Taco Tuesday. We're gonna try to. Here's our camp, South Padre Island. We're in a county park and uh, we spent the night here. We've got water and electricity and we're doing our video production inside. Staying here for a couple days and uh, Tim is out trying to catch some live bait down by the boats over there. The rods are all set up here and... Hey, you're back. Yeah, how about that? Let's see what you got. Pinfish. Live pinfish. All right, so the little fish catch a big fish. Little fish catch a big fish. Well, everybody uses shrimp out there. All you're gonna catch with that is something small. We're targeting a jetty monster. Got this down there. This is gonna be a haul. All right, so see you all off. Okay, good luck. Well, Tim's going down to the jetty to see if he can get a jetty monster, something for dinner. He's got some pretty big live bait. So, bigger the bait, bigger the fish you might catch. He knows what he's doing. Let's run it. So, I caught the first lighting, small one. I go, okay, we need one more. Bait it up again, tossed it out there, caught the big white. Tacos for dinner. Fish tacos. All righty. <laughs> All right. Let's get these played up. Meanwhile, the sun gave way to a lot of cloud cover, the wind kicked up. Before you know it, we were in an afternoon thunderstorm. We had to take cover inside the annex of the Schmitty built tent. Once again, gale force winds inside the Schmitty built, but it doesn't matter, we're still cooking. So we're in the annex. Yeah. And we're holding on the Jeep. Fortunately, weighs a little over 4,000 pounds loaded, and that's our ballast. Yeah. Uh, it ain't going nowhere. Yeah, we're still on here. You can see it's kicking our ass. butt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just yeah. There's probably 35, 40 knot winds out there. We're right on the shore. So we're in uh, South Padre Island, Texas. Yep. And that thunderstorm passed through. We're high and dry, but uh, we're rocking and rolling. <laughs> In the middle of cooking dinner. Yeah. There you go. Got here. We've got two tables set up. Yep. And we got dinner cooking. Yep. And uh, it smells awful good. Hey, we're going to have fish tacos again tonight. That's right. All right. Another epic journey. Another epic journey. The next day, we didn't catch any fish. We gave up decided to walk into town, check out the sights, and after about a mile we found some food trucks, had a nice Tex-Mex dinner, and called it a day, and that's about it for this area. Time to move on. Mexico. 
For about $10, we got a beach access and camping sticker that was good for a year. I don't know who would stay here for a year. After two days, we got blown away and had to move inland. I just thought I'd uh, show you our setup here on the beach. The winds finally let up a little bit. Behind me, you can see the jetty. Looks like there's a few people out there fishing. I'm gonna go try my luck uh, targeting sheephead today on the jetty. I watched a fella catch his limit yesterday and uh, nice size sheephead, and I know it's delicious from experience. Tim got some fishing tips from one of the locals on catching sheephead from the jetty. I've been lucky enough uh, every day of this trip so far that I've been fishing in the salt water. I've been able to catch fish. Some of them had to throw back. They were either too small or unedible. And, uh, but twice we've been able to enjoy fish tacos. And hopefully tonight I can add to what I've caught already and we can have a feast. As you can hear the wind is blowing like gangbusters. I'm not going any further out out there but I just watched the guy walk out of here with a whole bunch of cheap head. So it ain't so bad. We got ham and cheese tonight for dinner and uh, thinking about where we are. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. After two days of fishing we gave up, had some sandwiches for dinner and that evening the wind kicked up horrendously. The tent was making so much noise it woke us up and we decided that's it we got to go inland it's just getting too much the sand was everywhere the wind was everywhere we couldn't think we couldn't function it was really getting bad and the fishing was horrible here in South Padre Island when we left on the beach. Oh yeah. <laughs> Knocking the bugs off. After a week on the beach we needed to wash the Jeep, get all that salt and sand off from all that wind, and we needed to drive inland and get out of this bad weather. We took the ferry, got inland, and drove to San Marcos to take a break. This was one of about four ferries that we took along the Gulf Coast, and they were all free. They were operated by the state. I'm doing what I normally do. I take a walk around every chance we land, set up camp. I got to explore. Uh, behind me, you see the San Marcos River. It's beautiful. There was a three-foot turtle just hanging out on the bank. I got a picture of him. Um, otherwise, this is a pretty cool place. Uh, we've escaped the weather on the coast. We're tired of getting beat to death and sandblasted. Uh, the wind and the sand got a little bit obnoxious uh, so here we are a little bit inland um, tomorrow should be a really cool museum so there'll be more footage of that but this is a pretty awesome place um, I kind of like it it's the kind of place I would come back to Wow. That's fun. 
After a couple of days inland at San Marcos, we decided to drive back to the coast and see if the weather was any better. Hopefully the wind had died down and the fishing would be better. Lots of bait. Never, 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 never. There they go. After two days of fishing on the jetty, we gave up. We didn't catch a thing. At the end of the jetty, there was a little protected cove. We tried our luck there, and we got nothing. Well, what do you think? Well, we gave it the good old college try. That's for sure. I had a contractor tell me once, you got to take the bad with the good. And I'm patient enough to wait on some good, but so far, bait stealers, a little bit of dinner, tiny fish. You know, they say everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> well, except the fishing. <laughs> yeah. I, honestly, I think we've been struggling with conditions. The wind doesn't help any. Maybe at a time of year. Yeah, that's true. There's Peter on the rock. Anchor, whatever. Down on a little beachy cove. Pretty cool. That's where I caught those bait stealers yesterday. But we did make a meal out of them. video. Tim's out fishing. He just came back and we have to know how we did. Well, he gave me the fish that he caught. <laughs> really? I thought everything was bigger in Texas, but it's a big lie. Alright, we're here for five seconds for Falcon Yellowstone. Uh, yellow building behind me is Sharky's. Had a beer there, it was pretty cool. I went in there because they were playing some classic rock. Yeah, there's the Circle K. I found some Voodoo Rangers. Uh, usually you don't find that beer anywhere. You know, very rarely. Even though they're nationwide, you just don't find that stuff in Texas. Um, so I got a six pack. Uh, walking. Seven tenths of a mile back to our campsite. So on our last night at Surfside, I broke out the panini press and filled it up with cold cuts and we had a pretty decent dinner nonetheless. But it's time to move on. We were very impressed by the campsite and all the facilities here at Spoonbill. It was very well taken care of, very well thought out, a lot of signage, very clean and spotless, and the host was exceptional, very friendly. It wasn't crowded and we were able to pick a site right next to the restrooms. I have never seen such clean restrooms anywhere. These had to be the cleanest and newest bathrooms in the whole state of Texas. Very, very nice. Spoonbill was our last stop in Texas and our last hope for catching any fish. This place had a reputation for having a pretty good variety of fish. We are in Spoon. Bill RV Park. Uh, way out, way out. On a little peninsula north of Galveston. It's kind of an interesting place. 
We were on the Galveston Bay and there's quite a variety of fish that can be caught here. Unfortunately, we caught nothing. But we tried, we fished all day, and we fished that night as well. We woke up to a beautiful sunrise, but the wind had picked up and we know what that means. So we decided it's time to move on and we were heading to Louisiana. As far as the fishing went, a couple of bites, uh, the only thing anybody's catching really is uh, they call it gaff, it's the gaff top sail. It's a variety of catfish. Our last stop in Texas, Texas has been a large, large state, a lot of little fun. Interesting times, but it's time to move on. Next stop, Louisiana. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that like button. I encourage you to make comments. Uh, anybody makes comment, I will answer them. Alright, see you next time.